Welcome back to Mac Break Studio, where today we are talking about freedom. <laughs> Remember Braveheart? <laughs> freedom! <laughs> I still love that movie. This is great. Like most people still love so that movie. So why are we talking about freedom? I'm sorry. Um, why? Because some people create graphics and they they notice when they make copies of their graphics or their titles and they make changes to one, it affects all of them. They're like, what the heck? Why is it doing this? Uh, what's going on? How do I prevent that from happening? So. I'm calling this episode Emancipating Your Graphics and Titles. So, All right. Well, anyways, let's, let's take let's a emancipate. look. Okay, so, <laughs> so here I have this little short promo that you actually that you actually cut, and this is your sister's restaurant in San Francisco. This is the wonderful La Conda restaurant. And I want to add some lower third graphics to emphasize kind of the unique um, experience, dining experience of La Conda, mm -hmm. like really fresh baked bread, <laughs> best bread in the world, in my opinion, some of the nice dining Focaccia. experience. Oh, yeah, focaccia, focaccia mu. So what I'm going to do is, I'm sorry, I'm going to go ahead and I need to create a nice little lower third graphic. So I'm going to go down here and I have a, a lower third that I that I created, or actually you created, or she gave you, what have you. I'm going to turn that into a compound clip. So I'm going to uh, control click on it. And I don't know if you know it, but you can make a compound clip, right? Straight from the browser. Straight from the browser. So I'm going to make a new compound clip. I'm going to call this Lakonda uh, lower, lower third. And I'm going to click OK. All right, so I have this, this lower third. Now what I want to do is set myself up for a three-point edit. I'm going to, um, I don't want the title going over all of this. I'm going to press I and maybe to maybe have it go to here, press O. So I want the lower third just, just to that area. That's Notice it's selected, so I'm going to press Q. And what that does is it adds the lower third graphic. Well, it's not lower third yet, but it adds a graphic. So yeah. what I'm going to do is I'm going to step inside the compound clip by double-clicking on it. So I'm inside the the actual compound clip now. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in so you can see more of it. And um, first thing I'm going to want to do is I want to scale down the graphic, make it more like a lower third. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on the transforms. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and make this a little smaller. I'm just going to go ahead, put it over here, um, some, something like that. But I, I'm, because I'm in a compound clip, I want to add a title in this area okay. so there can be so it's a self-contained graphic yeah, inside everything's the in there everything's the in text there and the graphic. so i'm going to open up uh the title browser and um i'm going to go into these uh these builds actually let's do it this way i'm going to hit control t for the default title for, yeah i'm going to i'm going to add a default title mm -hmm. okay so i have this default title there we go and i'm going to select the title and uh, turn off transforms, go back to the inspector, and I'm going to choose a preset for this. In fact, I like these presets. Um, notice there's 2D styles presets. I'm gonna go down here and I'm going to choose minimal. And I'm going to go ahead and change the font to more of a medium. So it really, so you can but, yeah, it sticks really it right. So uh -huh. I'm gonna type out fresh bread, something like that. Okay, and I'm going to reduce the size, okay. and then I'm going to select it and move it down. Sometimes I'm going to select it, make sure I get the, there it goes, there we go, move that, come on. Sometimes it's, move that down, there we go. So I got fresh bread. Uh -huh. Now I'm going to step back out of the compound clip, and you'll notice, there it is, fresh bread, and we see fresh bread, okay, yep. great. Now, I don't want to have to redo. I don't have to do this over and over for every graphic. Because you, you want to do it several times several with time. the same style. Exactly. With so different text. Exactly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the compact clip and copy it, and then I'm going to move over to. Oh, there's a kind of a, um, a dining room that I, I want to emphasize this as a, a separate graphic. So I'm going to Command V paste that graphic. Now I'm going to go into this. Graphic. So you're double clicking. I just double clicking, clicking right. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go in here and I'm just going to type that I'm right there, just in the inspect, I'm going to type in, uh, let's see, relaxed dining. Okay, so relaxed dining. And of course, what I'm going to do is uh, move that over a little bit. So there we go, relaxed dining. And I'm going to step back out. Now, Great, I'm happy. And then later, but and I did, no. I, and I did this thirty no. times. I did this thirty times <laughs> without ever going. Without back. ever going. And then I checked my other ones, and they all say the exact same thing. They all say the exact same thing. <laughs> right. Because because that's the way compound clips work. Yes. You know, yes. you 
normally you would want it to work that. I don't want to have to worry about all the different instances of where they'd appear in what projects. Yeah. I just want them all to change. When you change one compound clip, whether you change it in the timeline or the browser, it affects all instances all of that instances. compound clip. That's right. So. So this is where the emancipation do? comes in. Okay. Here's Freedom. Steve's emancipation proclamation. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and I want to select a clip and go under, let's see, under the um, clip menu. Here it is, reference new parent clips. Like, I don't want you as a parent anymore. I want new parents. <laughs> <laughs> you're too, Which every, you're too every controlling. Kid will say. Yeah, yeah, you're too controlling. Every so, reference teenager. new parent clip. And as soon as I do that, notice. In the browser, it created a, a new, a new one. It created a new one. Right. And the first thing I recommend you do is you, is you should rename this. Otherwise, you're gonna get every time you do this, you're gonna get a copy of a copy of a copy of a yes. copy. Yes. So you should probably go in here and then like for here's lower third, I might put in here um, fresh bread because I know that's the one I'm gonna change, right? Yeah. And then I'm gonna go in here and double click this, select the title, go in here and uh, go back to switching this to fresh bread. There we go. Okay. Jump back out. And you'll notice now I have my fresh bread title. And because I separated it from its initial, uh, from its parent, yes. the, the other one still says relax so dieting. Relaxing. So, okay, so the trick would be for the next one, you could copy paste, but before you do any editing on it, may reference new parent clip. Correct. Reference new parent clip. Great. That's right. Okay, so if you are using compound clips that you want to be independent, you can free them. You can free them, and this is how you do it. A lot of people Beautiful. don't know that's in there, no, but it just a saves a lot of frustration. Really useful command. Awesome tip. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Steve. You're welcome. Thank you guys for watching. RippleTraining.com is where we do everything Final Cut Pro, Motion, DaVinci Resolve. Go there, get educated, make great videos, tell great stories. We'll see you next week on MacBrave Studio.